Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we finished question number 2 exercise 9.4 from chapter number 9 name trigonometry and the topic of question number 2 as well as question number 1 is the graph of trigonometric function actually the topic of the whole exercise 9.4 is the graph of trigonometric function we did all parts of question number 1 from part number 1 to part 6 did all parts of question number 2 from part number 1 to part 6 so in both questions we practiced how to draw the graph of trigonometric functions with the help of given domain and with the help of given equation now after question number two there are three questions question number three question number four and question number five in all three questions the graph is given and we have to write the equation okay so this is the main difference between question number one two and other three four five so uh, let's start question number three but before I start this question I suggest I advise all those students who are watching my lectures first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math kindly first watch previous lectures then after watching those lectures you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number three you can see on the screen question number three the graph of y is equals to a plus b sin x from 0 to pi is shown above write down the value of a the value of b and the value of c A student given equation is y is equals to a plus b sine cx what is a what is b what is c we have learned a lot about a b c the general equation which we have practiced to write is y is equals to a sine bx plus c so if you compare the general equation and the question which is given in the question is what is the coefficient of trigonometric function the coefficient of trigonometric function is the amplitude so in the given question I am assigning the name of equation number one the coefficient of sine cx is b so b is the amplitude okay what is constant in general equation the constant is c but the constant in equation number one is a and what is constant the y shift change of axis what is b in general equation B is the, is the helping uh, you can say helping term of period so the formula of period is P is equals to 2 pi upon B what is B the coefficient of X but in equation number one which is given in the question the coefficient of X is C now you can fully understand I advise you before you find the amplitude and the value of C first you have to find the value of A that is Y shift it will be very convenient to you if you find the axis change of axis or Y shift how it is possible it's very easy see carefully the curve and draw the line where 
द कर्फ स्टार्टेड टू सेकेंड हाफ वट डज इट मीन लेट्स वेट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ अ डॉटेड लाइन now see carefully this dotted line shows that this is the half part of the graph and after this point this one i am highlighting this after this point the lower half is started so we have to draw the line where the Half, first half has completed or second half or third half what does it mean i repeat again see the midway of the graph the line which is required the y shape which is required is the line which is midway of the graph the middle of the curve you can say <coughs> so this is y is equals to 2 this line is y is equals to 2 hence our y shift a is 2 now you can find all others thing as well that's the second thing is amplitude b what is amplitude amplitude is from the distance from the axis to the maximum point so our axis is y is equals to the maximum point is 6 therefore 6 minus 2 is 4 hence the amplitude is 4 finally write down the formula of period period is equals to 2 pi upon c see carefully what should be the period of this graph this is first half first half and n at pi obviously the graph is repeated repeating itself after 2 pi therefore the period of this graph is 2 pi 2 pi is equals to 2 pi upon c 2 pi cancel to 2 pi and c is equals to 1 now i am writing final answer a is 2 b is 4 and c is 1 this is our final answer so hope you completely understand how to find the values of constant a b and c when the graph is given let's start question number 4 part of the graph y is equals to a sin b x plus c is shown above write down the value of a question mark the value of b question mark the value of c question mark so first assign the name of the given equation is equation number 1 and then write the general equation of sin which is a sin b x plus c and student this equation is exactly same the equation which is given in the question a is the amplitude c is the y shift and b is the period formula used in period what i told you first we have to find the y shift because y shift give you all answers so what is how to find y shift draw a line where the graph is exactly the line which is split the graph the line which is split the graph in midway or a line which is bisect the curve bisect means equally divide 
so if this line which i have drawn if this line is exactly bisect the curve then this line y is equals to 4 is the uh, axis of the curve therefore the value of c is 4 now what is amplitude a a is the maximum distance from the axis the axis start from 4 and end up to 7 therefore our answer is of a is 3 come to the formula of period the formula of period is 360 degree upon B see carefully the graph what is period period is the length of the graph where the graph start itself so for this graph if I extend the curve like this it means the period is 180 degree because it's uh, repeat after 180 degree so 180 degree is equals to 360 degree upon B B is equals to 180 degree to the 360 degree B is 2 hence our answer of A is 3 our answer of B is 2 our answer of C is 4 a is 3 b is 2 c is 4 this is the final answer let's start question number 5 The graph of y is equals to a plus y is equals to a plus b cos cx for 0 to 360 degree is shown above. Write down the value of a, the value of b and the value of c. Very easy. First assign the name of the equation is equation number 1. Write down the general formula. What is general formula? A cos bx plus c. So if you compare both the equation, <coughs> excuse me, the value of a, a is represent b in equation number 1, b is represent c in equation number 1 and c is represent a in equation number 1. First, we have to find the value of A. A means Y shift. A line which bisect the curve. Very easy. Use a scale and check which line give you exactly half of the curve. Or you may say middle of the curve. So, am I right? Y is equals to 3. This line is give you 100% midway of the curve. The bisection of the curve. Therefore, A is 3. Now, what is amplitude? Amplitude is B. Amplitude is the distance from the Y shift. From the Y shift to the curve. The y shift, the axis is 3 and the curve, the maximum distance is 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. Hence, the value of b is 2. What is period? The formula of period is 360 degree upon the coefficient of x in the given equation number 1. That is c. What is period? Period is the point where the graph is repeats itself. So, if you see carefully, at 120 degree the graph is repeating itself therefore the period is 120 degree 360 degree upon c c is equals to 360 degree upon 120 degree 123 is a 360 degree 
hence the value of a the y shift is 3 the value of b the amplitude is 2 the value of c is 3 this is our final answer so hope you understand question number 5 question number 3 question number 4 and this is our today's class what next in our next lecture very important question question number 6 where we will be learning how to draw the graph of 10 theta or 10 x there are three parts I will try to complete all three parts in next lecture so students if you like my videos if you are satisfying my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture